Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today I show you K guard. We started making a game on his knee, then playing open guard. So in the video, I show the back take, mop ladder, and X guard sweep. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, I show you entry first. K in the position, I play kind of open guard like this, like knee shield, sleeping collar, this kind of stuff. Then instead of making a card like this, I'm gonna hold his knee. Like making an underhook on his leg. So from this position, I slide my hand in, and then I come to the side. Then obviously this time I feel pressure from him, which is not good for me to stand. So that's why I my legs, I slightly push him to the side to relieve the pressure. And then I connect my hands as I gave him like this. Okay, this is the first step. Then I push him more to shift his body to the side. And then I start taking off his knee from the mat. Like for several times like this, okay? And then, probably even though I go like this, he's gonna come back to me as well, right? Especially before he puts his knee, I wanna make the frame so here in this position. Look how I put my knee inside his knee like this. It's like reinforcing my gable grip with my kneecap, like this, okay? So as I do so, it's gonna be way harder for me to come back face to face. Even though he tries to come back to me, look, I can keep this type of position like this, okay? Then I will use my shin to block his thigh and hips as well, like this. Then the best case scenario from this position is a back take. I slowly pull his knee towards my chest. Then I create some space behind his knee. Then I circle my left leg. That comes behind me like chopping, okay? Then next I switch my gears, right? With my left hand, I blow the pants. With my right hand, I do the fast hand like this. Like switch my hands like this. I'm going to push him more with my right leg. Like this. His leg is getting lighter. Now I push his shin like this. And then I come up. Okay, by the time I come up, I'm gonna make that the hug around his hips. Like this. And then I pull him down to take him up like this. Okay, this type of open girl. Okay? And then I get under. Then I get under like this. And then I slightly push him to the side. I connect my hands like this. Then, right leg is very important to keep it here. This is how I make her frame like this, okay? And then I push, look. Okay? This is all tiny. I need to hide my knee inside like this, like slightly. Then, I use my right leg in multiple ways. I use my knee to control his knee, and then I use my ankle and shin control his hips and inner times well, like this. Then I set up the position, right? If I can make this position, I start drawing his knee towards me like this, okay? And then, wow, well, okay? Next is going to be very important. I'm not only grabbing the pass like this, I got to control the far side leg as well, okay? If I, control, if I don't control it like, like this, he's able to go like this. It's gonna be hard for me to try less of a perfect. So in this position, I'll see my One, two, the far side. Like taking it back from De La Hiva. Okay, once I set up, I push in more, and then as if I put me on the mat, like this. Then I can release my right leg. Okay, once I release, I make a bear hug like this. From now there are so many ways to take the back. So what I like to do is this, I pull his hips, and then I shoot my leg. To take the back. Okay, next one is more platter. Obviously, when the time I set up the position, but he doesn't like this type of angle. He wants to come back to me, like facing my side like this. Then, in order for him to make the good axis, he even grab my collar. Yeah, this is really common, like this. So this time, he's exposed his like, left arm. So it's a great chance for me to set up on Prada. So in this position, at first I raise the gable, and then I cut his elbow joint, like this, like making a hug. In this technique, it's not necessary to grab the key like this, okay? I wanna make the maximum leverage, so I just cut. Then, probably he may cross his elbow, it's okay. Once I cut, I make the axis that I'm already connected with him, like this. Okay, from this position. Now I start swinging my leg. 
Okay, that comes over his shoulder like this. Now, this position all the time I do a movement, I cap his elbow joint. Even though I cannot open his elbow, it's fine. I just want to cap it here. As long as I cap, I'm connected with him. This, okay? And then after I go like this, I start making an angle, right? I push his armpit with my right like this. Then after I go like this, I let this go. You come up. Then I set up on prada. After I go like this, I squeeze my hips. And then I finish. Okay, he will like this. But definitely he wants to turn to my side like this. Okay, and up. I cut this elbow joint. Then this may be a little tight, but it's okay. Once I cut it, I may have strong axis. Then I swing my leg to put this leg here. Then I can even put my leg on his head like this in order for the right posture. That's an option to do. Then I put this leg over. And then next one is the most important part. I take it off. And then I come up. And once I come up, I cut his hips. I scoop my hips to the side. Then adjust the angle to finish on brother like this. Okay, one more technique. Extra sweep. Okay. Once I set up gable on this side, I halfway down to set up extra, especially I put my inside knee with the gable. That I completely isolate his leg. Okay, it's going to be much easier for him to set up extra. Sometimes I may not really push him or like he doesn't even come up. Like he stays in the middle, like he was driving my car, like this. In this case, I will make a hook behind the other side of his leg. Okay, I swing my leg, then I make a hook like this. Then I'm going to scoop my hips underneath his hips. Okay? By the time I do, I slowly lift up his leg like this. Okay? Yeah, probably he wants to let go grip to stand good balance. Yeah, after I go like that, I adjust the position. Look, I still use my right in multiple ways, right? I use my knee, shin, and sole. Especially, I push his hips with my sole, like this. And then, I scoot my hips out on his hip, like this, okay? Yeah, after I go like that, I set up X guard, okay? I switch my hand to cup his knee like this. And then, I use my elbow. Then, in this type of X curve, you don't need to crush like like proper X. It's more like a kick in the near side hips. I call this movement like a near side X. This is multiple ways to control to do. Okay, after like this, I come up with my elbow, and then, look, I use my sole. There are two ways to take top from this position. If I can push his knee forward, I can take top by coming. Or well, sometimes, I may not be able to kick it away. He's almost like coming back to me. In that case, I push myself away. Like using my soul, I push myself like this. And then, I come to the top to sweep him. Okay, here's the solution. Like he stays in the middle. Then I cannot send him forward to take the back, or he doesn't come back much. So, the first, I make a hook here, okay, behind me. So I get access to the reverse hip escape. By the time I do, I slightly drag his knee. Like drag his left knee on my left shoulder. Look, like this. I don't need to put any on the mat on this position. That's why I switch my right hand to cut his knee. Then I even use my shoulder to trap his ankle. Okay? Now it's too close to take it up from this position. I slightly kick his hips with my sole like this. Okay? I make this type of angle. Okay, and next, by the time I can now push him away, I push myself away like this. And then I want to do this technical stand up. I want to pull my Left leg behind, as soon as I take top, I pick up the ankle and then I sweep him. 